Hello, my name is Farish. And in this video, we're gonna set up React on Windows. And we're gonna take two different approaches here. The first is to use the Create React app. So you could do a fully functional React app from scratch. And the second approach is we're gonna take your existing HTML and CSS file and show you how to integrate React into it. So let's get started. So by the end of this video, you should be able to install Create React App and start a React project from scratch using Create React App. And lastly, integrate React into your existing HTML CSS project. So there's a couple requirements for this video. First, I'm assuming you have Git Bash and Node.js installed. If not, don't worry. Code Academy has instructional videos on how to do both. So I have Git Bash open. And the first thing we need to do is verify that Node is installed. The easiest way to do this is to check what version of Node is currently on your computer. And the command we're going to type is node-v. Make sure to include a space after Node. Then I hit Enter, and we see that the Node version appears. Now, if you get a message that says command not found, or if nothing happens on the screen, a good chance Node.js isn't installed. Now that I know we have Node installed, we're going to use npm to install the Create React app. And the command is npm install hyphen g create hyphen react hyphen app. And you can copy exactly what I typed on the screen. And the reason why we're using the hyphen G flag, which stands for global, is we like to be able to make our React projects in computer. So that only took six seconds and it's successful. So I'm gonna clear the terminal. And now I'm gonna CD into my projects folder. And I wanna make a React app. And the command is really easy to type. It is create hyphen react hyphen app space, then your app name, which in this case will be for me, my hyphen react hyphen app. Then you hit enter. And this does take a little while. So I've sped up the installation process. It only took 66 seconds in real time. But what I want to point out is after it's done, at the very bottom, it does give you instructions on what to do next. So what I'm going to do is CD into my React app. Then I'm not going to use Yarn Start. I'm going to use NPM Start. Yarn is an alternative to NPM that's pushed by Facebook. But to maintain consistency, I'm going to use NPM. So now I'm going to CD into my React app. And now I'm going to type NPM Start. Now I'm going to hit enter and the development server is going to start up and this should automatically open up your browser to the React app. But what I like to point out is this line in the terminal. Just in case you lose the location of your app in the browser, maybe you accidentally closed out the window by mistake. You could always type this address in your browser to get back to the app. And speaking of the browser, let's go ahead and take a look. Here's our React app, and it even states you can go ahead and edit the app.js file to get things started. Now, as I stated earlier, Create React App is a great starting point if you want to build a fully functional, with all its features, React App from scratch. But what if you have an existing project that you just want some light touches of interactivity, but you like to use React for that? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that next. Now, this website is called Tcozy, and it's one of our projects from the web development path, and it's built on HTML and CSS, no JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is incorporate React into this project. I want to add a button to the mission section, and when you click on that button, it will trigger an alert using React. Now, let's head over to the code editor and get started. So I have the index HTML page of the Tcozy project open in VS Code. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. What I'm going to do is start implementing React into this project. So over at the very bottom before the body, I'm going to paste in three script links. And I'm going to zoom in for a closer look. 
The first link is for the React library for making components. Now the second link is for React DOM. And what this does is manages the rendering of components along with the DOM manipulation on the web page. And the last script link is Babel. And Babel is mainly used to convert ECMAScript 2015 plus, also known as ES6 code, into a backwards compatible version of JavaScript that will work in current and older browsers. Now that we have these three script links in place, let's get started in adding React to this project. So I'm gonna insert another script into our HTML. And because we're using Babel, the type needs to equal text slash Babel. And after typing that, I'm going to add a few spaces here so I can make some room for the class that I'm going to create here. Do is convert the mission section of this project into a component. So I'm going to name the class mission and start building out the component here. And this isn't a React tutorial. This is for demonstration purposes on how to convert your project over. So I'm assuming at this point you understand enough of React to be able to do this and understand what's going on. So I'm gonna build my render statement first. And once I have this part written out, I'm gonna grab the mission section and copy it over. Now, I don't wanna grab the whole mission div with the ID. I wanna grab the div that has the content in it and place it inside this render statement. So I'm gonna cut this out and paste it right inside of the return. One thing to note, class is a reserve word in JavaScript. So here where we have the div, I have to change class to class name using camel case. The next thing I'm gonna do is make a button and add the onClick event handler. And inside of the button for the text, I'm gonna add click here. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is write out a function that we can call inside of the event handler. And I'm gonna call that function handle click. And once again, this is for demonstration purposes. So the handle click function is gonna call a alert. And the alert's gonna say button was clicked. Now I'm gonna go back to the event handler and write in this dot handle click. And because this is gonna trigger an alert, we're not passing in any arguments. The last thing I need to do is to write out the React DOM render method. And for this method, the first is gonna be the mission component that I've created. And the second is gonna be the element that's gonna be the insertion point for this. So remember earlier in the video, I stated that I was gonna leave the mission div alone, but grab the content div instead. This is why I did this. Now I'm gonna target that mission ID as the insertion point. Now it's time to save this, go back to the project and make sure everything's worked out okay. So I'm back at the page and the first thing I need to do is reload this. And after hitting reload, we can see my click here button is there. And all we have to do is click on it and the alert works. Now in the real world, you're not gonna use React for alert. But the idea here was to show you how you can easily integrate React into an existing HTML CSS project. Thanks for watching and happy coding.